Hi Scorpios, this is your current energy in love. I feel a lot of stuff around you guys right now. So as always, you guys, I'm going to share real fast the my um, channeled messages from, from the universe, from spirit that I got before the reading. Um, but real quick, you guys, be sure Scorpios to like this video, please, as you as we begin this reading. Um, it helps my channel to grow and I am trying to grow this channel. So it's so appreciated, my loves. Thank you. And subscribe to the channel, you guys. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. I'm starting this new thing. I do weekly current energies, you guys. I don't date them just because it automatically dates the video on YouTube when I upload it, but also because they are timeless. So I do current weekly energies, but what I'm gonna do guys is I'm, I'm dividing it up. So I'm gonna do a video all based on work, life, spirituality for you guys. That one is already uploaded. Obviously you guys probably saw it, but if you didn't go check it out after you watch this reading, okay? Cause I'm up, I upload them together. Okay, I'm gonna start doing that weekly. So it'll be like Scorpio, work life, work life, work in life or whatever. And then it'll be Scorpio love. Okay. So this is for you guys for love. So I heard, um, I don't even know what Disney movie it is. I want to say Snow White where it's like someday my prince will come. So I feel Scorpios for many of you, whether you're a woman or a man, it doesn't matter. You're manifesting, um, your divine counterpart. You're manifesting. Um, I wrote down, um, union slash reunion. So many of you are manifesting a, a union with your divine counterpart or slash reunion. Re okay. Then I heard the song uh, by Alan Jackson, toes in the water, toes in the sand. Life is good today. Da -da -da. You know what I mean? It's that song. Life is good today. So I feel like, um, I feel like Scorpios and, and I just channeled this out in your guys's actual, your weekly, um, for just you that you guys are like really doing good. And you guys are like in this like super powerful manifesting mode and things are starting to happen for you. They're starting to come in and, um, this includes love. So let's see what's happening for you in love Scorps. For Scorpio, please. What is the overall energy around Scorpio and their person? What is the overall energy around Scorpio and their person, please? For Scorpio, overall energy, the Hierophant. Wow. Okay. So Scorpio, this is a pretty uh, deep connection that you share with this person. Um, you guys think a lot alike. You guys believe a lot of the same stuff. Like, you know, it's like you guys have the same kind of like belief systems, traditions, um, I don't know. You guys just, you connected deeply with this person. So the overall energy around your connection is the Hierophant, spiritual. I'm hearing commitment, Scorpio. Someone wants a long-term commitment here. They're hoping for a long-term commitment. All right. Tell me what Scorpio's person feels, please. How does Scorpio's person feel towards Scorpio? Three of wands, eight of wands. Hmm. This person is manifesting, or if this isn't your person and it's you, Scorpio, but you're, what I'm, you know, just put yourself where you belong, cross watcher, but your person is manifesting um, some passionate communication with you. For many of you, Scorpios, your person had to, they had to go within and they had to, um, they had to turn their back on some stuff. things in the past, but they're manifesting. They're trying to wait for the right moment. Yeah. Look, right. As I say that they're manifesting and they're waiting for the right moment. Will of fortune pops out. Um, what I was going to say is they're manifesting this passionate communication here. Let's see three of wands, eight of wands. Scorpios in your weekly life work, love reading. One of the cards you got was an Oracle card. It says conclusions are with, were within reach and it's a full moon eclipse, which is potent, powerful, energy. Conclusions are within reach. All right. Be prepared to hear from this person. This person is manifesting communication, passionate communication. For many of you Scorpios, this has been in a standstill between you and this person. But this connection between you guys was destined and faded. It was destined and faded to meet. 
for a lot of you guys, it was like there was a communication between you guys where it was back and forth. It was constant communication for a long time. And then something ended here. It stopped. You got six of cups that flew out. Soulmate, past life. With the Hierophant as the overall energy right here, this is telling me that this is a very deep spiritual bond you share with this person. You guys could have shared past lives. Your souls have known each other before. Scorpio, for many of you, if you're feeling like, why am I so like deeply connected to this person energetically? Like why? Like this, this is such a strong, powerful connection. I feel this is why it was destined and fated for you guys to meet. And um, Scorpio, I feel like you have been thinking a lot about this person, a lot about this person, but, um, you need to know Scorpio at the same time, this person is thinking about you a lot. They really are. Whether you've heard from this person or not, many of you, you haven't even talked to this person. You haven't heard from this person, but they're thinking about you. They're manifesting this, this, this union or this reunion. Remember you guys, I wrote it down. That's the intuitive message that I channeled out, the psychic message. I said, someday my prince will come. See this person waiting? That's manifesting. Someday my prince will come. Someone here in this connection is waiting. They're waiting to hear from this person. You're waiting to hear from this person, Scorpio. The wheel is starting to turn here. Where there has not been any movement, where it's been stuck, it's starting to move. What's going to move this connection forward here is this passionate communication that's coming in. This person's thought a lot about this, but they've been manifesting this union or reunion. For many of you, this is it, this is a reunion. It's someone from your past, someone that you've already been with, you've had a connection with. For many of you, look, these three flipped over together. You got the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, your energy here, High Priestess, secrets, intuition, what's being hidden, what's to come, okay? The High Priestess can see all. She's all-knowing, okay? Psychic, clairvoyant, she's everything. Empathic. person has a lot of deep emotion here unconditional love for many of you in the past you opened up to this person Scorpio and it was not reciprocated back you've been waiting to hear from this person and this is what's coming in here Scorpio is passionate communication this person wants to open up and take a leap of faith here For many of you, this person has some manipulative tendencies. Okay, this is definitely not for all of you, not even the majority of you. This is just for some of you. So when this person comes in to communicate, obviously it's your choice, but just use your discernment, Scorpio. Use your discernment. For some of you, I'm getting that energy off of this Queen of Cups. Some manipulation. Okay. For a lot of you guys, some of you, your person was in a third party and that's why they turned their back on this connection. They were trying to make it work somewhere else. Can you clarify the three of wands for me, please? Yeah, see, exactly. There was someone else in the picture here and this person was being sneaky and deceitful. They had other options going on. But that they've this person has learned their lesson here, Scorpio. For those of you that was in that third party, they've learned their lesson because it's like you're the best thing for this person. They know it. This person, when they reach out, they're coming in um, and they're gonna be it, it's like they're intimidated by you. They're intimidated because for many of you, they didn't, they didn't open up before. Like they had an opportunity to open up and they did not. They chose not to. They turned their back to it, remember? And so they're coming in and they're nervous. They're nervous. What are you going to say? Are you going to reject them? Are you going to accept their offer? 
but they're coming in to make an offer here because Queen of Cups energy is unconditional. It's the most love you can possibly feel for someone else. This person is taking a leap. A leap in love is what I'm hearing. So be prepared for communication. And this communication that's coming in, Scorpio, is coming in fast. Clarify the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, justice. Exactly. It's universal karma. It's your justice. It's your good karma, Scorpio. It's truth. It's a big decision. Someone's making a big decision here. See? This person is turning their back on those other two wands. They've grabbed onto that wand and they're coming in for passionate communication. They might come in. When they come in, they might just be like a little message, like not saying a whole lot. But once they get your reaction, Scorpio, then the communication is going to be like a lot back and forth. You guys are going to be back and forth talking. This is good karma for you, Scorpio. This is something that you've been praying for, you've been hoping for. It's something that you've been manifesting, something you've been hoping for here. Wheel of Destiny, faded. That's wild. The, the Justice card clarifying the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. What is the overall outcome? What is the most likely outcome here between Scorpio and their person, please? The Magician. Communication. All in. This person feels like they have everything they need now. Like they're ready. It's time. This person knows that you're everything they want. You're the whole package. Okay? They're manifesting this passionate communication. And they're coming in to take a leap of faith, Scorpio. All right, let's get a couple Oracle cards for Scorpio. For Scorpio and their person, what is Scorpio's person gonna do next? For Scorpio, wedding and letting go of control issues. This person is surrendering to this connection. They're surrendering their control to this. You know, this person, I feel like for many of you, they're like a methodical person, all about the, lo the logistics of things, very logical. And it's like, where is their logic in love? Those are two words that do not go together, ever. You know, I mean, sure, you can be logical about your relationship and how you love and all that, but like, you can't help who you love. You can't pick it apart and try to pick and choose. It is what it is. You have to surrender, release control, and that's what this person is doing. They've been manifesting this, and they're coming in, you guys. The situation involves marriage. This could be the one that you marry. Destiny, fate, queen of cups. This person has unconditional love. And it's love that they want to give. This person is thinking a lot about you. Your The memories, the time you guys have spent together, all that. They're feeling very nostalgic, Scorpio. All right, overall outcome for Scorpio and their person, please. You have judgment, which is a total transformation. Wow. Expect communication from this person. You guys will be talking very soon. The sky, look, you have 10, 11. This is about divine timing here. It means things had to happen the way they did for this connection, okay? So if you guys were asking yourselves, why and why did you know what, what's been going on and all this stuff you know everything kind of had to happen the way that it did the universe was behind this here with the justice card and the hierophant it says ripping off the band-aid a surprise yeah expect a message from this person scorpio they're just going to reach out rip off the band-aid do it fast quick quick this is stuff coming down into reality manifestations made real it says, heed the call, total transformation, renewal. Someone's making a judgment call. They're making a judgment call on this connection. I just heard, it's time. Awakening, surrender. See, what did I just say about surrender, you guys? What did I just say? So person is surrendering to this connection, to, the, to what this is. 
they're, they're, they're surrendering to the fact that they can see themselves with you forever. They can see themselves possibly marrying you. They can see themselves long-term committed to you. They feel a soul bond to you. They feel a soul connection. They're surrendering to it and they want total transformation and a clean slate here, Scorpio. All right, my loves, I hope that this connected with you. Again, if it did, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. Every subscription, every like, it helps get the channel out there. And it also builds good karma, you guys. Um, and it ties you in energetically uh, to this channel and to any reader's channel. So it's a win, win, win. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading, I'm taking requests at this time. You can uh, email me below in the description box. The pricing is down below. Email me and we'll get you guys set up. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. The email is just Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot at gmail.com. Sending you guys love and light and I'll see you soon. Bye, Scorps. Mwah.